man has diabetes mellitus type 2 for 40 years. When he was diagnosed with diabetes, he was told to avoid sugar and sweets, which he has been doing. On his last office visit, he complained of intermittent claudication as well as pain in his left foot. Today, he has a 3 centimeter round lesion on the pretibial area of his left leg. The wound bed is black and dry. There is no exudate. The leg and foot are cold and pale. There is no hair on either leg below his knees. His fasting blood glucose is 150. The patient says, at least my, le my left leg isn't hurting anymore. It used to be a real problem. I had to quit taking walks because of the pain. What should I do with this sore on my leg now? Should I take the scab off? I waited about a year to see the doctor because my brother-in-law said the doc would probably cut my foot off. And then it would be the other foot and then the leg. I waited for it to get better. I know it's getting better now because it's soft.
that may be why you don't feel the pain. The pain may be there, but you, uh, you're just you're not feeling it because you feel like you're in the Okay? So, for blood flow, uh, nerve damage, these are some of the uh, complications uh, that we'd like to try and prevent um, from the other
But I see you have one of those, uh, one of those cell phones there with the, uh, does that have a video camera on it? Okay. Yeah. One of the things you can do, um, even if you don't have, even if you can't bend over, you can grab the reacher, turn on the camera, put it there on the floor, and then just put your foot over the top of it. And then you have a video of what your foot looks like. And then you can do that in the morning or in the evening. Once a day, at least you should uh, inspect your feet. And that's a good way to do it. We'll, we'll see. You're going to be looking for any changes. Uh, you're going to look for redness, cracking, blisters, <coughs> especially any breaks in the skin. Um, why might that be important? So... 